there's something really simple about making a meal from scratch that can be taken on the go. My husband recently asked if he could have something that he could take on the go um, at nights when he is away. And I decided I was going to try my hand at, basically they are meat and potato pockets. So I made some sourdough bread dough, really enriched and enhanced, meaning I added some milk, some eggs, some honey, and baking soda, and a little bit of butter. I totally made this recipe up, so there's really not a whole lot of instructions other than just adding the sourdough starter to the bowl with honey um, as you wish. As you can see, we just kind of eyeballed it. I added a couple tablespoons of butter, an egg, milk, and some flour and salt, and I whipped it up and put it in a bowl. And I knew that I wanted some sort of meat and potato base, so I kind of made it up there with some veggies. But there really are no rules in the kitchen. You can make things up on the go and just see if they work, and if they do, great, and if they don't, then you'll try something different next time. I'm a really big advocate of just trying things in the kitchen, even if you might fail, even if it might not turn out, even if nobody likes it, at least you tried, and it makes you better in the kitchen for trying. Sourdough especially is really easy to work with because the bases are very, very similar in most of the meals. You always add in water and starter and salt and flour for the most part. That's a really basic sourdough bread recipe. But you can also add in things like I did with the milk and the eggs and the butter and honey. You could add in vanilla extract. You could add in baking soda. You could add in herbs and you can do so many different things with your sourdough. It doesn't have to just be water, salt, flour. You can really get creative with it. I really find that the honey makes the bread really, really soft. And so I love adding honey to any kind of sandwich bread, but especially with these pockets, I really, really liked to add the honey and to give it a little bit of a sweet taste. And I had some veggies already cut up, so I decided to add those in. It was just carrots, onions, celery. We had some elk that we needed to use, and so I sauteed some of that up and added in actually a taco seasoning. I wanted to give it some flavor, and so I added in some taco seasoning. And now that I'm looking back at this, I wish I would have added in more and needed more flavor. I definitely need to add in more next time. And then I wish I would have added in cheese to all of this. So that is the one thing I'm going to be doing next time is adding in cheese. Maybe even a sauce of some sort, maybe a cilantro cream sauce uh, or some sort of creamy peppercorn sauce or something to give it a little more flavor. But for the most part, this was a totally made up recipe and one that really didn't take that much time. With this specific recipe, one of the keys is to make sure that you roll your dough really flat. I could have even rolled it even flatter than what I was rolling it in this video. I wish I would have rolled it flatter because when it bakes, it's gonna puff up. And so you don't want too much bread to meat ratio. You wanna have it pretty equal. And so get your, get your dough nice and flat and add a good amount of flour to your surface. It can get a little sticky. If you're not into sourdough, you could also do this with an instant yeast. You could just make it just like I made it, but instead of adding sourdough starter, just add in yeast and you'll have the same exact product. I just really love sourdough for a lot of the gut health purposes. It is so much better for your body to get that gluten broken down, all that phytic acid away, and it's just nice wild yeast. Um, so if you are interested in how to get started with sourdough, I have a couple videos on my channel. I will go ahead and link them in the description box for you guys. How to get your own starter, how to make sure you keep it alive, that sort of thing. I have a lot of videos, so take a look at those if you are new to sourdough. It doesn't have to be intimidating. I pull my sourdough starter actually right out of the fridge to make bread. I don't even let it rise and double in size on my counter. I pull it straight out of the fridge as discard and make beautiful loaves of artesian bread, focaccia bread, sandwich bread, bagels, you name it. Um, I can pull it straight out of the fridge and so 
I would call myself more of a lazy sourdough baker because I don't want to feed it and let it double in size. I don't want to wait for that. And so I usually feed it, let it double in size, and then put it in the fridge so it's ready to go when I need it next. So that's a little trick I have. I really do feel like having this skill is super beneficial for anyone, not just a mom. Anyone can do sourdough. And it's just a nice skill to learn how to do. And it can be easy and it can be doable. I hear so many people make comments about how hard sourdough is, how tricky it is, how time consuming it is, and how much of a pet it can be, and I really could disagree more. I feel like I put my starter in the fridge 90% of the time and I pull it out when I need it, and it really is low maintenance, and I don't feel like I have to worry too much about it. So once I put these in the oven, they were just a quick bake and they were really delicious, but as you can tell, there's a lot of bread there, so I would definitely roll them thinner next time. But still, nonetheless, drenching them in butter really made them delicious without that cheese and sauce that I mentioned earlier, and it really made for a nice meal. Little moments in the kitchen where I'm cleaning the kitchen, I love to talk to my kids. Just even while I'm busy talking to them, making conversation with them, they like to sit and chat. This is kind of our chatting station. And it's just something that I truly do treasure as a mom of four little boys. Just getting to talk to them in even amidst all of the chores and the busy to do. So it's been a blessing today to just be able to be in the kitchen and chat and hang out with my family and make a good meal in the process. so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.